I present you these ombre glitter nail designs. I'm sure you will apply this very easily in your everyday work. First of all, because you don't need much precision for this and it's very quickly done and you always get a quick, perfect glitter ombre. Now I will show you the more complicated one. So here we will have more layers. I am showing you the colors. So the lemon sorbet, the menta and the papaya. All colors are super pigmented. I will apply them with my narrow metal brush. Here we go. You can order the colors however you want. I will apply the papaya. Make sure you are applying this on the third part of the nail. While it's still fresh, I'm applying the second color. I'm connecting the two fresh colors directly on the nail, like this. I left a bit larger space for the yellow color on the tip of the nail because this is an almond shape and we miss the wideness on the tip and we want the same amount of all three colors. In your everyday work you will do this on top of a cured base gel. This is the small ombre brush. Now I will mix the fresh colors. This is no special move here. I'm just like touching both colors and going a little to the side like that. So this is a tissue with alcohol and here I can clean my brush. So we are mixing and cleaning a little. When we are satisfied, we don't have a straight line between the colors we can cure. And here we go with our next step. This is an old brush. I will apply the ice opal. I cleansed the nail, but really no need for that. You can apply this directly to the sticky. Okay, so I'm massaging this. I don't need a thick layer. I'm not curing. And now I will apply a little watermelon on the papaya part of the nail just to get a larger contrast between the papaya and the rest of the nail. So here's the snow bunny. I will apply the snow bunny and the iced opal. So the iced opal is more like gold and it's going on top of the main top in the middle of the nail. Of course, I want to add a little over the yellow and a little over the papaya. This way we will get a nice mix. And now I will apply the snow bunny on the yellows. This is the lemon sorbet color. And of course, I will add a little over the green color also. So these are one of my favorite glitters actually. And now we can cure this snail. This is the cool gel, super clear. And I will apply just a thin layer with the flat brush. This layer is actually behaving as a glue because into this layer we will add our glitters to make the snail even more rich. So I'm applying a thin layer over the whole nail. Of course, you can go thinner in the cuticle area 
if you want a nice natural looking nail at the end so nothing precise this is enough and now i will add some mermaid glitters so these three are super shiny and winners so crystal nails mermaid dust this is a very fine glitter so every glitter is for itself just beautiful so this one i will apply over the papaya and a little over the green i am holding the pusher from the top it's the easiest way to apply the glitters after this one over the mint color i will add a green also mermaid dust from crystal nails high quality glitters super fine i love all three because they are neutral actually transparent and you can still see the colors under them i am applying this the same way a little over the papaya and a little over the yellow and now the last one this is an, another brand brill bird and this one is like the mix of the first two so we have gold and green glitters inside this is also a mermaid dust now the nail looks super nice you can't tell any lines between the colors and that is what we wanted so now the nail is cured and we can build it I will build the nail with a flat brush from Ugly Duckling. I will build this nail in a thinner layer. In the previous videos, I showed you how I build the nail with uh, much precision and with more detail it's explained. Now I just want to cover the whole nail with clear gel and to leave it to spread a little just a few more moves and when the surface is smooth I'm curing the nail now it is cured and I will apply the cool top gel this is a super shiny nail of course at this point you can file the surface i will not do that i think it's really no need i just wanted to show you that with layering you can get a nice 3d effect with even small glitters and that they are hiding perfectly the lines between the colors while i am waiting for my top shine to spread i want to show you how beautifully it shines and now i will cure it here is our nail a lot of colors there this is a super gorgeous ombre nail really really nice and this layering effect really shows that there are a lot of things going on inside the nail now i will file both sides just a little of course if you are filing the nail after the top shine we need to file under the nail And here is our gorgy. I will show you one more time. How does it look? 
so sparkly color changing we have that nice 3d effect i really love this style Here we go with our second nail. I will apply the colors the same way, just different order. I'm not curing the colors. I'm applying all three first and I will mix the fresh colors directly on the nail. This ombre will be super easy to do. You will love this. I know you will. Okay, so we will mix the colors. So this is the small ombre brush from Jet Set. No special moves. I'm cleaning the brush from time to time. And then I'm going back to the color again. So you don't need to do this with any precision. So just like that. And it's, it's really enough. When we are finished, we will apply this iced opal diamond sugar from Jet Set Beauty so this is kind of gold shine there so I'm adding this into the fresh gel just add a great amount on the whole nail the only thing that can go wrong is if you touch the nail with your tool and now it's cured I want to clean gently the nail and now we will build it. So this was very quick and simple. The glitters are hiding the lines between the colors. If the glitters you are using are this size and with this shine, you will cover the lines between the colors easily. I also recommend larger glitters than this, but with smaller, maybe you can't cover the lines so good. I am finishing this nail. I covered the whole nail with clear builder gel. After the curing, you can file the nail and apply the top shine. A good top shine for me is the one I can apply on any type of surface. If the nail is sticky, if it's filed or just cleansed, if the shine comes out perfectly every time, it's a really good top shine. Now it's ready for the lamp, it's cured and I will file the sides a little. When creating a nail like this, usually we need to file the surface, especially around the cuticle areas and the nail sides, because the glitters come out there, since those are the zones where are gel is applied in a thin layer our second beauty is finished it's a simpler look here but i'm sure that for a lot of you this one will be even more beautiful than the first one so enjoy creating these two